hi, I'm Charlie Curtis Beard. I'm a senior representing LHS. <laughs> this piece is called Dance. I envisioned the reminiscence of a woman sitting on a church bench by a pulpit, listening to the melodic melodies in her eardrums as she uses all her strength to raise one hand and swing it to the beat. I remember learning how to dance when I was a kid. My dad would rock bass kicks and smack the hi-hats off his drum kits, and me and my brothers would rock back and forth and rock back and forth like we didn't know what was going to happen to our bodies as the music started to converge with our souls, so we sat there and rocked back and forth like our ancestors did, whilst being shipped to an unknown land in a poorly constructed boat infected with sickness and shackles sat three to a bunk as they bumped heads, rocking back and forth through the repetitive motion of the sea. They too didn't know what was going to happen to their bodies. So we let music flow, projecting images of freedom back from the roots of when bongos would hit the soul harder than one nail and two blacks and three beats and four railroad tracks. I was in fifth grade when I learned about rhythm and beats. I learned how to Move my feet, electronic and iconic like electrons. When I did this, music would start to circle around my gravitational pull, gravitated as if for a moment I was defying laws of physics. I was tripping over my own feet, and my feet formed callus, swaying from ballads to birds, tweeted leading and humming harmoniously, and railroad boxcars from workers over 100 years ago on railroad tracks, singing and stomping on their feet all day. Their feet formed callus from driving a steady bass, like They used to hate us for walking on rails to freedom. They used to hate us for walking on rails to progression and patience for pardoning equal protection and moon walking on progression. I was 13 when Michael Jackson passed, saw glimpses of him on TV, mimicking his dance moves in my basement. See, I always liked the idea of moon walking because it looked like you were moving forward when you were really moving backwards. And I couldn't quite get this down because my dance moves could never move backwards. My dance moves would always progress and profess from railroad tracks to a subway in the Bronx with spray paint in the hallways while I'm break dancing, break dancing because sticks and stones may break my bones, but pots and locks can't break me, fade me, dissipate me. I'm a rebel in the making. No, I'm a runaway slave on a prime night that you can't forget with a long lost wife that you can't forget. Haven't seen since they separated. Only get 10 seconds to embrace each other. Dancing to the music of the night before shotguns can hit them in the back, killing in an instant like no, I'm an African, dying from the sickness of the sea as the rhythm of the sea pushes me back and forth. And I always missed it when my mama would rock me to sleep. No, I'm my grandma. Way back in Alabama when she was shaken by an explosion that killed four young black girls in 1963. See, something stayed inside of her veins and was passed down to me. Dance chose me. Because dance chooses people that don't have a voice of their own. And after three strokes, I think my grandma found hers. I can still see her using all her strength to raise one hand and swing it to the beat.